Not dubbed at all. Fanatec do three direct drive wheels. The DD1, the DD2, and the Podium Racing Wheel F1 that has PlayStation 4 and PC support. Which is the wheel that we're unboxing in this video. Let's get it out of the box and let's uh, let's see what it's actually like fresh. Let's see what it, what does it smell like. What does it feel like? Always when opening boxes, guys, make sure that you use an appropriate size knife. You wouldn't want any mistakes. But uh, oh, look at that! Shipping. Oh bloody hell, that's heavy. <laughs> Oh my god! Well, you don't need to go to the gym. You could just, uh, you could just do a workout with this. That's it. That's my gym session done. I'm now Arnold Schwarzenegger. So, look at that. You see on the box here, we've got the. Uh, you can see the esports uh, wheel rim. The, the well, the Formula One rim with all the uh, dials and knobs on it. It's the same. Uh, the rim has the same similar format to the uh, to the, the original Fanatec Formula rim, but it's just got more options on it. It's also got the um, Fanatec podium shifters on it, I believe. But uh, nice, nice and middle. It's actually not that big of a box, to be honest, considering it's got a DD in it. Often, when you get DDs, you're getting all these boxes and all different components. But this is all like in a really nice, relatively small, neat package. <laughs> it's a lock on the box. <laughs> Why is there a padlock on the box? Okay, we're unlocking the box. I think this is the first ever cardboard box, uh, product box I've ever seen with a padlock on it. Why not? I, I think other companies could uh, could do with copying that. It's as if there's like a Velociraptor in here. We've got to watch out. It'd be like that scene from Jurassic Park with the crate. <laughs> I don't think the Velociraptor made that noise. It did in my mind. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I have to say, that does look... That does look really nice. Woo! <laughs> oh, dear. It's a toy that we don't deserve. That's, that's super nicely polished. Let me... Uh, let's zoom the camera in on the actual gubbins for you guys. But, uh look at that looks absolutely superb so the playstation 4 version of this the actual um, dd motor base itself has a slightly different accenting on the uh, the sort of motor enclosure and we've also got the uh, the actual formula rim on this has a really nice uh, blue would you call it anodized blue uh, wheel release to it and then we've got the uh, we've got blue alcantara or is it, is it suede? I, always, I think it's suede, it's not Alcantara. But, oh man, <laughs> it looks really nice. This is like a, this is like a piece of jewellery. But uh, unlike jewellery, this uh, makes you less attractive to the opposite sex. But that, you know, so you've got to have fun sometimes. So let's get it out of this. Force feedback reinvented. I hope it's not too reinvented, you know. But uh, hopefully it's just force feedback magnified. But maybe it is reinvented. Uh, it's actually pretty incredible that it's such a small package. Also that the wheel's pre-mounted to this. We're, we're basically ready to go. <laughs> get it out of the box, plug it in, off we go. Well, you know with me, it's probably going to take like five hours to actually get going. Okay, the bottom of the formula rim is uh, flat with the bottom of the... Uh, DD motor, but uh, let's see what else is in the box here before we have a little more of a fiddle. We've got some uh, Fanatec stickers in here, quick start guide, which we won't be reading, and we'll be burning the house down as because we haven't followed the rules properly. We've got some extra buttons in the box, uh, face face buttons. As you know with the uh, Fanatec uh, wheel rims, you can swap these buttons over, uh, and in this case, because it's got the uh, PlayStation buttons on it. So it's nice to have that little bit of extra options for customizability. We've got a 1940s telephone cable. I assume this will be for connecting the wheelbase to pedals. Uh, Fanatec love to use uh, telephone cables. 
for connecting the different components. We've got a really nice uh, braided uh, USB cable. Yes, this is standard, standard USB cable, nicely finished off. Uh, we've got a a Euro to uh, Great Britain power socket. We've got the power brick here. So yeah, one one of the ways they've uh, kept the size of the base down is uh, by having this power brick separate. This is actually somewhat reminiscent of the um, the original Xbox 360 power supply. Might actually be a touch bigger than that. Mind you, as we're saying, this power supply is smaller than the uh, typical power supplies you get with other other DDs. Um, I'm not sure how long the cable is. That's it. That'd be interesting to, to see. Because if we're tucking this off the sim rig and out of the way, we're going to want as much power cable length as possible. No, that should be all right. That should be that should be enough distance to have this on out of the way. Probably I'll probably still mount this on the rig, but we've got enough there that it doesn't have to be near the wheel, which is nice. And uh, what else is in? The delightful box here. The kettle lead to plug into the power supply. Let's have a sip of tea. We've got some. What's this? Talk key. Please read all safety guidelines in the manual before opening. Uh, this this will be to unlock the power. <laughs> The maximum power of the wheel, I guess. Uh, I guess that's a bit of extra, you know. If, if you plug this in, you've voluntarily agreed to break your wrists through driving simulators. So that's that's the get out of jail card for Fanatec. If anyone tries to sue them for hurting themselves, I, I have to. I have to be honest. With all the direct drive wheels I've used, um, you, I don't think you're that likely to hurt yourself. I mean, the, the thing you can do with DD wheels is if you've got the wheel rotated and then you've got your wrist rotated and then you get a sudden jolt, that that can hurt you can hurt your wrist quite a bit and possibly do damage or if you get your finger caught in between the wheel. But you can do that on like the CSL Elite. So normally, I'm, I'm literally going to break my wrist as soon as we plug this in. But I found with the other DD wheels I've used, I've not really found them to be unsafe. I've never had to push the stop button on my other DD, for example. I don't think this comes with a stop button. I think you can optionally buy a stop button. But as I say, I've never had to use it on my other one. So, but uh, look at this. I mean, it looks absolute, absolutely gorgeous. It is heavy. Let's take the uh, wheel rim off this. It's, it's a nice, small package. Let's not ding ourselves in the face here. We might, might want to take this off when it's actually mounted. Oh no, there we go. So, that is a nice bit of unit there. <laughs> I was going to say, this is a little bit tacky. It's just protective uh, tape over the top of the logo. So that is not tacky. Oh, that's actually really nice. It um, feels like it's embossed into it. It's like each letter is sort of manufactured onto it somehow. I don't know, but it looks cool. <laughs> so that's nice. But uh, yeah, there's the wheelbase. I mean, really, it's got the little OLED uh, screen on there, uh, on the front here, for you to watch uh, your Netflix films on if you get bored whilst you're racing. I don't know, you, you know, you, you might be doing the 20 hours of Le Mans. There's lots of straights there, so you need your entertainment. But this, this screen will uh, give you information for the actual settings you're using on your wheels, additional stuff for the actual DD wheel. It's got some like uh, curves information, temperature it's running at. We'll go into that in a, f a future review, but you've got this additional screen. And you, of course, on the Fanatec wheels, you do have the uh, screen on the wheel itself, which tells you all your, your actual, what mode you're in, you know. You, all your Fanatec settings, as you're familiar with Fanatec. But uh, look at this, uh, these, the Formula One rim. Oh man, this, this feels really nice. <laughs> this is like, we've got all the additional, uh, the podium shifters with the uh, neodymium magnets on it. Oh my God. And we've got uh, clutches. I think we'll use that as a clutch, like analog imp. Oh dear. <laughs> this is too nice. Ah, oh, man. That is really nice. I've not, I only briefly saw these um, neodymium shifters on this uh, with, with the preview product. I haven't actually seen the final version of it. Uh, that is really, really nice. 
I, I'm a huge fan, huge, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of uh, neodymium magnet base shifters. I just, I just like how it feels. Um, weirdly, uh, or maybe not weirdly, uh, many times in, with real world cars, uh, sports race cars, they're actually not necessarily as stiff as what you get from neodymium magnets or some neodymium magnet setups. Um, I mean, I don't know how much adjustability we have here in terms of the sensitivity of it, but in terms of my personal preference, I actually quite like it to be a little bit stiff. And this this is sort of in the mid-ground of uh, actuation force required from, from my experience with shifters. The, um, the ProSim.no button box I've got uh, has stronger magnets than this, but this is nice. So the, the thing is, you get a really nice punchy actuation of the button so you're not going to accidentally miss shift and it's, it's, it's just nice it just feels nice that's what that's what sim racing is about for me if it feels nice i'm happy but yeah no that looks absolutely absolutely fantastic and uh, the blue looks nice i th I, th I, th I don't know is it, if it is a bit overstated the blue would it be better if it was just if it was just black i'm not sure but i quite like it you can't go wrong with a bit of uh, suede, blue suede on it. Kind of has a bit of a, I have to say it has a bit of a sort of uh, synthwave 90s vibe to it, which is quite cool. I'm not sure if that's what they were going for, but that's what it's, uh, that's the, that's what it's, it's invoking in me. Um, but yeah, that, I mean, that is the unboxing. There's, you know, it's all pretty much a, a relatively simplistic unit in, in the sense of, You've got your base, you've got your wheel, you've got some power cables, you've got a power box, and uh, then you're a, a way to go. But I mean, that is the, the big thing with all DD wheels, is that it's a direct drive. There's not so many moving components and things to go wrong. Uh, so hopefully, once you've got a DD, be it, this, uh, be it like a Fanatec DD or any of the other DDs on the market, once you've got one, that's it, you've ascended. You, you've gone to wheel heaven. But we're going to be getting this on the rig soon. We'll be live streaming, putting it on the rig. We'll be uh, testing it out, and then we'll be having a review of it. Uh, I'm, I'm really excited to get back into the land of DD. It's been a while. But, uh, yeah, thanks uh, thanks for watching this unboxing. Hopefully uh, you found it interesting. Um, probably finished your cup of tea by now, so that was good timing. Uh, Remember, if you're getting one or you're looking to get one or you want to get anything from the Fanatec store, we've got a Fanatec affiliate link. Click on that in the description before buying if you want to support us. Remember to click the like button. Remember to subscribe and click the bell. Uh, I mean, you don't have to do any of these things. It's entirely optional, but uh, there you go. Till the next one, thanks for watching. And goodbye, everybody.